Hi everyone, it's Rosemary Morris from Morris Art. Um, this is just a quick video to show you how I've made these little um, wooden, I'll bring it up here so you can see it, these little wooden decorations for some bird tags that I'm doing. These were in the, what we call here, $2 shop, and they're just little key rings. Um, that were plain like that and I took the key ring off and just put a little uh, jump ring on it because I'm going to put it on a pin onto the onto the tag so all I've done is used um, inks on it so these little birds this is the one I'm going to do now Isn't it cute they're from uh, Kaiser craft and the little sort of mesh things in the background. I don't actually know where I got that from. Sorry, but I'm sure you can find something like that online. So what I did first of all was go over it with Stazon ink. Oh, I have to remember where the camera is. So I'm using Stazon Timber Brown. And for the orange, I'm using Wild Honey from Ranger. Tim Holtz Wild Honey. So they're the two inks that I'm using. Of course you can use any inks you like. This one here, because I'm going to have two like that on one tag and this one in the middle, I thought that one looked a little bit pale. So I'm just going to go over it. If you don't want to get ink on your fingers, then I'd advise rubber gloves, but I don't really care. So I'm just rubbing it on. Yeah, that looks that looks a little bit better. It's only just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do first of all before I do anything else is do the back with the orange. Now this I don't want too much of it there. Oh no, it's got a line on it. Doesn't matter. So you can see it 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 sort of distresses it but doesn't cover up all of it. And I don't mind that, I quite like that look. While I'm doing that, I'll just do the rest of this because this is orange. It looks quite nice on top of brown, I think. And that little bit there, I'll have to glue in separately because it fell out. There's that. And then, oh, this one. Is the darker colour. Which way round do I want it sitting? Hmm, I think it looks quite nice that side. What I might do is get my handy dandy tweezers <clears throat> and do it with those. Oh, maybe not to my finger so that's all right I'm sorry I was probably off camera then that's why I put this paper here so I can see where I'm supposed to be that little bit didn't get any I just put it down and rub it it's not taking it very well on the end of its feathers there. Sweet little birdie. There we are. Now, don't forget to put the top back on your inks before you go any further. And then I'm using this three-in-one. Um, it, it was supposed to be two bottles of fabric tack but this came which they're saying is the same stuff but it's actually not I don't think it is um, I don't like it that much so a little bit of that oh, before I do that I'll turn this over so I don't stick it on the wrong side so what I've done is I've, I've put this put this on the um, onto the tag and cut around it and I've cut some off where the hole is so that um, 
so I can fit the hole in. So this bit goes, just move it around a little bit so I can get the hole in the right place. It's quite easy to cut with a, a little pair of scissors. I keep a, a tiny pair of scissors like this. Oh, this camera, I can never get it in the right place. Um, the, my fussy cutting scissors, I've got white handles and these are like cutting glue and cutting these bits of wood and things like that. Um, so I, I know which is which. Uh, where are you going to go little bird? We'll see where the... I might put that one in there, just to show up the head a little bit more. There we go. And then a bit of glue. Because this is only going to touch in, in a few places, so I'm putting quite a bit of glue on, if you can call that a lot of glue. <laughs> you can't really call it a lot of glue. Make sure it's sitting the way I want it to sit, and my head's not in the way. On some of my videos, you see my bright red hair. <laughs> I love my bright red hair. And before I put the, the little ring in, um, oh, this little bird, I'm going to do it on the back. When it's t uh, stamped on these, it, I like it. It's quite, because it's wood, it hasn't sort of done it very strongly but I quite like that look so again it's the stays on timber brown and it's actually a big stamp like that but I'm only using the head bit of it I had a, a my favorite favorite little bird stamp which I've got here somewhere it was just too big for for the thing so I thought oh well I'll just put a head one on it So I'm just holding it there for a little bit longer than I would normally so that the wood can soak up some of the ink. I'm rocking it a bit as well. There you go. Quite cool. So then get my little tools. These have actually got a bit of sticky tape around them because I've got some other tools in the drawer over there that uh, look the same. And I was sick of trying to look at them all and look at the ends of them to find the one I wanted. And so I just put a bit of sticky tape on, which I thought was quite clever. So now I don't have to get frustrated looking at them all. So that's going to go on there. Like so. That just pinched that up a bit. Yeah, and then we're going to have, if I can find them, should have got them out before, these little, I call them light bulb pins, but I don't know what they really are. So I found, I've got some gold ones, and I've got some black ones. And then I found, of course, Tim Holtz does them in this khaki colour. <laughs> I just love his stuff. <clears throat> so that'll go on there like that. And then when I put the, uh, rib well, it's not ribbon, it's going to be fabric that I put onto the tag, they'll pin onto that. So there you go. There's a little, a cute little idea for you to do. Here's the back. Oh, that one goes there. And there they are. Hope you found that useful. Bye.